This program is produced by Willie Pollard. I trust you've enjoyed our guests so far. We have a good half, another half a program coming up. My wife right now has some encouraging words because she's studied hard. So without further ado, she's going to come up here and give you this week's thought for the week. So here she is, Willie Pollard. Today I would like to ask you, do you feel overwhelmed with life situations? Do you have problems in your life that you don't know which direction to turn? Are you going through trials? Does it just seem hard to cope with every day's life situations? Do you remember that poem, Footprints, that was very popular some years ago? Uh, there was a line in that poem that went like this. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ helps us through those times of problems and trials and tribulations that we're going through. And I want to talk to you today about God being our strong provider. He wants to help us. All we need to do is just to call on Him. He will give us strength when we're not strong, when we're going through hard times. He will encourage us and give us courage to go on. And the most important thing is He will never leave us alone. He will be carrying us through those hard times. I want to share some scripture verses with you today. From the book of Psalm, chapter 31 and verse 24, Be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. And then if we turn to Philippians, chapter 4 and verse 13, we read these words, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. And if we go down just a little bit further in the fourth chapter of Philippians to verse 19, we read these words, My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And if we go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 29, we read these words, He gives power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increases strength. And then if we'll turn to the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and read the last part of verse 5, we read these words. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Remember, folks, life's challenges are not designed to break us, but to lead, to lead us and bend us towards God. And remember that we need to read God's word. We need to pray to God. And most importantly, we need to trust God because he knows what we're going through. And he gives us strength, courage, and most of all, helps us through those times and carries us through. He never leaves us alone. Thank you. Sweetheart, you did a good job again this week. Well, thank you. And you know, God is our strong provider. And when we feel like everything is going wrong and that we're all alone, remember, God is carrying us through those hard times. Right now, I'm going to walk. Uh, I'm going to walk. I'm going to sing you a song that says, God Walks the Dark Hills. Yes. And it sort of goes along what you talked about. Yes, it does. Because when we're going through those dark times and those hard times, He is walking right there with us. So, God Walks the Dark Hills. God walks the dark hills, the highways, the byways. He walks on the billows of life's troubled sea. He walks through the cold, dark nights. The shadows of midnight God walks the dark hills Just to guide you and me God walks the dark hills To guide my footsteps walks everywhere, by night and by day, 
He walks in silence on down the highway. God walks the dark hills to show me the way. Now God walks through the storms, the rain. The sunshine, he walks on the shadows of glimmering light, helps us walk up the mountain so high, cross rivers through valleys. God walks the dark hills Cause he loves you and me God walks the dark hills To guide my footsteps He walks everywhere He walks in silence on down the highway. God walks the dark hill to show me the way. God walks the dark hill. Show me the way